Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. It's me, Teacher Adeline, your science teacher. Always saying, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Are you familiar with the materials usually found at home? Are they differ from one another? Would you like to find out? Come on, let's go! Materials can be classified according to their uses. And each materials have their properties that make them useful for a specific purpose. What are these materials? You're right. These are metals, wood, and stones. What are these materials in common? Very good! These materials are hard. Hardiness is the property of an object that makes it withstand pressure. These materials are used to make things that need to be strong like materials used for buildings, bridges, and houses. How about these materials? What do they in common? You're right! These materials can allow water to pass through it. These materials have porosity properties. Porosity is the property of a material that can allow water and gases to pass through it. Examples are clothes, sponge, mop, rugs, paper, and tissue. Elasticity is the ability of a material to return to its original size and shape without breaking after it is stretched, pressed, and twist. Rubber is an elastic material that used for making materials such as rubber bands, rubber shoes, rubber belts, and many more. Brittleness is the property of a material to be easily broken when dropped or hit by a hard object. Materials made of glass and ceramics are examples of brittle materials. Thermal conductivity is the ability of a material to transfer heat energy from one area to another. Materials that are heat conductors and heat absorbers have high thermal conductivity. Metals are good conductors and dark objects are good heat absorbers. Luster is the ability of a material to reflect light as the light interacts with the surface of a material, such as minerals, gold, pearl, silver, copper, and many more. Ductility is the property of a material to be formed into fine thin wires. Iron, brass, and tungsten are ductile materials. They are used in electrical wiring at home and filament of bulbs. The wires in your cell phone charger, headphones, and other electrical cords of appliances 
are examples of the tile materials. These properties of the materials are also known as physical properties. Physical properties are the characteristics of matter that can be observed and measured without changing its composition. Which of the materials easily to burn in normal temperature? Mug or paper? Very good! The answer is paper. What happened to the paper after it burned? Excellent! The paper turned into ash. This is what we call flammability. Flammability is the ability of material to ignite or catch fire easily. Examples are plastics, papers, clothes, wood, and rubbers. Other materials such as glass, ceramics, and metals have chemical properties of non-flammability. Combustibility refers to the tendency of a material to burn above working temperature. The combustible materials in a high temperature can change the property of the materials. Biodegradability is the ability of a material to decompose. Examples are fruits, vegetables, food, plants, animals, and humans. These are also known as chemical properties. Chemical properties are characteristics of matter that can be observed when the composition of a material changes. The materials change its properties because of chemical change or reaction and a new material is formed. Materials may become useful to the community based on its properties, but it can be also harmful to the community if we do not use it properly. What are the things we need to do to help eliminate the harmful effects of the materials to the environment? You can save the environment from harmful effects of the materials by applying the techniques of managing waste using the five R's. What are the five R's? Reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and recover. Reduce can limit or refuse the use of unnecessary materials. Avoid or restrict of the use of plastic bags. Instead, you can use eco bag or bayong when you go to the market. Reuse can use the material for another purpose. These are the materials 
that can be used again. Recycle can use the material for processing into a new product. Materials can be made into another materials that can be useful and be creative. Repair, restore material to make it work again. Broken materials that can be fixed and use it again. Recover, take back or restore what has been used to a new materials. Taking energy or materials from waste that cannot be used anymore. Composting is an example of recovery. Hope you learn a lot. Thank you for watching. God bless.